In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the EE button to put scientific notation numbers into a scientific calculator. The EE button is the one that I have a little yellow circle around here. It's usually over the 7. On both of these calculators shown, you'll have to hit the second function first and then hit this button so the EE function will be used. In the blue calculators we have in class though, you won't have to push second. It's the same location, but it's the only purpose of that button. So if we do like we've done before, we take a look at an expression and we don't even put it into a calculator. We just see that it's 2 times 10 to the 4th over 2 times 10 to the 4th. And so in your head, you know that anything over itself is 1. So we know that the value of this expression is supposed to be 1. So if we put this into the calculator here, um, that way, if we say 2 and then times and then 10, and the way we would raise the 10 would be using the caret, we'd put 4. That was on top, so then divided by 2 times 10, let's use the caret again, 4, we hit enter, that's not 1, that's way different than 1. The reason why it gave us something other than 1 is the same way, way you have to learn how to use calculator skills and use either parentheses or another way to tell the calculator that this is one big number. Well, that is the purpose of the EE button. Its whole purpose in life is to say times 10 raised to the power of something. So instead of putting this into the calculator as 2 times 10 caret 4, I would put this in as 2. Instead of times 10 and caret, I'm going to say second and this comma button so a single E shows up on the screen. The calculator knows it's EE, -E, but we only have to make one E show up. The only other thing I have to put is the exponent, which is 4. So I'll do the same exact problem. So I've got 2 times 10 to the 4th here divided by 2 second, comma, so an E shows up, 4. If I hit enter this time, it understands. The E takes the operation out of 2 times 10 to the 4th and lets the calculator understand that this is one number and it's not going to treat it like a number and an operation and another number. So let's take a look at another problem. And I'm going to hit clear here. If we wanted to put this into the calculator, I would push 2.5, that's the coefficient, I would not enter times 10. Instead, I'm going to hit second and the comma so the E shows up. Then the exponent is 8. And then I go right into what is the operation I'm going to do next. Well, in this case, it's divide, so divided by. And I can start putting in the next number, 3.7. That 3 did not show up. 3.7, second, comma, so an E shows up. This time, the exponent is negative, so I have to use the negative sign. I'm going to put my 4 exponent, and I hit enter. And so this time it's going to show you something maybe you've never seen before. Our coefficient is really, really long and has a lot of calculator garbage in it, and then it ends in E11. That's your calculator's way of telling you that this is times 10 to the power of 11. So if we wrote down just two significant figures, because that's how many are in this problem, that would be 6 point, that would make it round up to 8. So our coefficient is 6.8. So times 10 and the power is 11. So this simplifies to 6.8 times 10 to the 11th. Let's try one more just to see how to use that button with something you're actually going to do in our class. Normally our exponents are about this big. And so really scientific notation is the only way to do a calculation with these numbers. So I'm going to put 1.85 for the coefficient of the number in the numerator. I'm going to do second comma so the E shows up. And now I don't have to put anything else except for the exponent, which is negative 24. The operation here is also division, so I'll hit divided by. Coefficient for the denominator is 6.626. Ooh, the point did not show up. Point. 6, 2, 6, then the second, the comma, so the E shows up again. Exponent is negative 34, so negative 34, and hit enter. And this time, this happens a lot with our calculators, if it can fit the number on the screen, it won't put it in scientific notation for you. So we're going to write this whole thing down, 2, 7, 9, 2, 0, 3, 1, 3, 9, 1. Well, first of all, we need to round it to the right number of significant figures, and then we need to put it into scientific notation. So this was four sig figs, this is three sig figs. We're going to round it to here. 
So our coefficient would become 2.79. And then I would say times 10 to the, how many times does my decimal place move if it's here at the end of the number and I would like it to be here? That's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's times 10 to the 9. It's a positive exponent because I want to make this that looks like something million there.